Hey, paddle enthusiasts, welcome to Paddle Smash Academy. My name is Sez, paddle club owner and entrepreneur. Next to me is Julian, paddle master coach, and we're all about paddle. Whether you're new to the sport or an experienced player, you've come to the right place. Our goal is to provide you with paddle news, tournament outcomes, product reviews, and video lessons to take your game to the next level. So grab your paddle and let's get started at Paddle Smash Academy. Today, we're going to be talking about World Paddle Tour at La Rioja in Argentina. Next to me is Julian, a paddle master coach. So what do you think uh, about the, 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 the tournament? Unbelievable. I mean, I, I hope you guys seen it, but uh, it's very, very, very exciting what is happening with these two young um, stallions, you know, the Tino Liebach and, and Ausberger, 17 and 18 year old kids. Uh, unbelievable what they're doing. They made it all the way through the final. Uh, they beat some one of the top couples, one of the few top couples in, in, in the World Paddle Tour. And now they're making a huge, huge mark on the world paddle tour yeah it's incredible you know from wild card right yes to the finals yes uh and you know and they had to beat a few you know uh, some players there some very experienced players you know yes. top five uh, players it's, it's it's incredible yeah uh then they're unbelievable and did you see there that there's a rumor there about uh, one of them playing with um yankis was it young was no it's not a rumor it's a real reality huh? yeah, it's a reality wow. yeah one, one of the things that happens is if they would have won the tournament, two, the two of them would have qualified for the for the Chile Open, which is starting today, on Monday. Uh, but because they made it to the finals, the only way for them to qualify to play in the main draw is to switch partners because of their ranking. And then that's why Ausberger is playing with Jang was uh, just because of that, because they couldn't really win the tournament and they couldn't have enough points. Gotcha. How about Valentino? Do you know? Is do you know if he's Valentino? Gonna be playing I'm, with I'm just else? looking. I'm having right in front of me here the uh, and he's not playing. Okay. He might be playing the previous, but uh, he's not really playing. We have some exciting first round matches going on here. Uh, it's going to be super, super exciting. So, uh, so, yes. so, what did you think about uh, their play? How they play? Well, look, I was lucky enough to watch him play um, in my last trip. Uh, I was in Madrid uh, a few weeks weeks back, and they were playing the previ Previa for another tournament. Uh, unreal to watch him live. I mean, these guys, they play so well, so strategic as a team. They know each other so well. Uh, they're a huge, huge danger when they're playing at the net. Look, and, and if you hit a lob to them... Uh, if you hit it to Ausberger, man, double, it's going out by three or by four. I mean, he hit some huge bombs from all the way back from the baseline. That's truly technically perfect. And 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 strength-wise, it's outstanding what he can do with that arm. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a high-risk shot, especially for somebody like yes. me. <laughs> and yes. uh, and it exerts a lot of energy. Yes. That, you know, um, and but these kids are young. You know, yes. um, they're aggressive. Uh, they take a lot of risks. Sometimes that's good, and sometimes that's not that good. Yes. You know, and you could see that in the finals. You know, but uh, other than that, I mean, I think they played amazing, especially the net. They go after that ball. I mean, it was wow to watch them play was pretty amazing. At seventeen and eighteen years yeah. old, wow, incredible. So, so the big upset, you know, Sanjo and, and Velasquez, they lost against Bergamini and, and Ruiz. All right. That that shouldn't be happening. Uh, I watched the, the the whole entire game. Uh, it was a very close game. It was only two breaks, but at that level, two three mistakes, a couple of golden points will cost you the match. It was close, very close game, and that's pretty much what it was. You know. Yeah. So I mean, uh, did they? Do you think they they just couldn't? You know, was it long points? I think there were long points there, right? There were long points, but look, look let's give him some credit to Reese and Ambergamini. They actually played the perfect game. I mean, they never made any mistakes. And like I said, at that level, a couple of golden points, you're done two breaks down, and that can change the right, dynamics. Right. So now you're you're going uphill, which is very, very difficult. Right, right. I, I get it. I get it. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, Paquito and Teo and... Uh, and yes. Leo and, and, and uh, Tino. Wow. What wow. a game. Wow. Did you see what that? Who, you see that game. who's playing the left side? Yes. Again? Right? Interesting. So so they swap again. So Teo was playing on the forehand side, Paquito on the right on the on, on the backhand side. And 
They were not there, man. I, I honestly, I don't know how these couples. Do you see the tension there? Yes, I can you, feel you can, it. I can feel it through. You that. can cut it with, with a, you know, with a with a plastic knife. Right, right, right. And I don't, how long is that gonna last? Are they gonna keep going? They're gonna try. What what what's going on? I know that Paquito's not happy. No, the, their personalities are just too yes. different, right? Yes. And uh, and I think that that's important. Uh, you know, when you're playing with a partner, uh, that you guys are on the same page. You guys can. Can you know uh, work together, uh, you know, in the good times and the bad. Yes. And I don't know. They just they're trying different things. They switched over. They're, I, I don't. What I feel, and I always looked at the at the body body posture and the body energy that Anteo, it's it's not there. He has that this negativity yes, on him. Yes. The other one is very you know on top of him every single time, and 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 that takes the the whole energy away from from Teo and and he has a he has a very unhappy face you know he's not enjoying the moment look I, I don't think if they don't do well at least semifinals in in Chile this tournament is starting this week I think they're out I think so I, I don't see them going to yes. you know moving moving far and in this will be tournament. very something interesting if they break up because now who do they play with uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, I, I, going back to what you were saying about the energy, and and I I feel that uh, with Dayo, it's very negative. Like, yes. uh, and you know what? It's sometimes you can't read his mind. You know, when when you know there's a good point or you need that help from your partner, he's not there with it. He's you know not what I'm there, saying? And, and then Paquito is has is its own way too. I mean, he wants to be the star. Yes, all the time. And you know yes. what? And sometimes. The partner wants to be the star too, you know, and sometimes he finds that a little, you know, yeah. difficult to deal with. I mean, yeah. I saw that when he played with Dineno, right? Yeah. Uh, but he is a star. He loves that attention. And um, but he also wants to, you know, he's he's tough on his partners too. Yeah. He's um, very tough. Yeah. And so uh, the, the very different personalities, very uh, tough. I don't I don't really see that working. Um, at what point do they pull the plug? I think, I, I think the breaking point was going to be this tournament. Yeah. If they don't do well, if they don't make it at least to the semifinals, goodbye that couple. And, and this was the wild cards, you know, they're yes. losing to. You know, yes, you know? and, and they play a, a good match. I mean, they it was, did. It was pretty did. close, you know, 6-4, 7-5. These kids, they just blow it out of the court. I mean, they play unbelievable. And what I like about these two young kids, uh, now going back to Liebach and, and Ausberger, is that they're not afraid. No, you know oh, no. they have that personality. They they don't give a crap. They they, they, they just go they, for it. They risk everything. They, they risk everything. And, and that's I mean that is that's it's hard to play against. That. Yes, you know. So you have to change your game. And yeah. And uh, it, it, which it's like I said before, it's a good thing, but it's also lack of experience sometimes. Too. It is when you're risking it so is. much. You need to know when to risk, when not yeah. to risk. Yeah. And you could see that outcome in the finals. And 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 you you see Osberger when he's hitting those huge bombs from from behind the baseline. If you're not if you're not very precise on those shots, you're gonna sell sell your, yourself short. Oh, yeah. Meaning that that ball they're gonna wait for you right next to the net and they make you pay for it. Right. And it happened quite a few times. Oh yeah, definitely. And yeah. experienced players are gonna they're, they're gonna study how you play. Yeah. And then you know, and if you're not willing to adjust or change and constantly take that risk, then you're gonna get caught. Yes. You know, and, and that's a little bit what happened there. You yeah. know, was, yeah. All right, let's get to the quarterfinals, right? So we have Max Sanchez uh, with Lucas Campagnolo versus uh, Tino and Leo. That was a great game. That was an unbelievable game. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And, and I think I, I wanted for the four of them to win because <laughs> I love I love Maxi Sanchez and, and Lucas. They're, they're such an upbeat couple. They're smiling. They're enjoying their moment and all that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it was a tough match. They, these kids, they kill it again. Two breaks, six, three, seven, five, and good, good for them. When they know? won there, I was like, wow. Yeah, the, I got, I got to watch these kids, man. Yes. They're, they're, you know, wow. Yeah. I mean, the, the first, the first game, uh, you know, against um, Paquito and Teo, I'm like, okay, because Paquito and Teo aren't really playing that well together. But now, versus you know Sanchez and Campagnolo, I was like, wow, 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 look yeah. at that. You know, um, okay, so now we got uh, uh, Franco Stupa and uh, Martin Dineno uh, versus Chingoto and Garrido. Uh, what do you think there, man? What do you think about Chingoto and uh, Garrido? Well, that, that was an unbelievable match, and it was uh, it was 6 0 3 6 6 3. Uh, 
they, I mean, Chingoto and Garrido, they went, they, they, they were not there the first set. They went home. Yeah, yeah. They, they, I mean, Tap, uh, uh, Stupa and Dineno, they just play unbelievable. I mean, there was no way they can get in there. And they, you know, that that's when you see the greatness on, on a player that after losing the first set, six so now let's recap, put it all together and start from zero again. Nothing happened. Forget about the six so and let's get on it. That's where it's important, where you have this strong, good relationship with your partner. Exactly. Right? Because and, uh, that negative energy does not work. Exactly. You can. And you know what? I really like that couple. Garrido is playing much, much better next to Chingoto. And Chingoto is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here, I'm going to give you something to think about. It's something to digest. What happens if Teo and, and, and Paquito, they break up? Now Teo calls back Chingoto. Uh. And Chingoto is getting some really good results with Garrido. What could, that could be something you, interesting you know to happen. You know what's going to happen? <laughs> Chingoto is going to say, sure, as long as I play reverse on the left side. <laughs> That's exactly what he's going to say. And know. what is Teo going to say? He's going to have to, but he won't. I yeah. can see him being really stubborn. Yes. You know, so I think they're going to move move on because they're just being stubborn. They want they, they, they don't want to be wrong. Yes. You know, he does, doesn't want to be wrong. You have to go back. No, he's going to move forward and try to find Yeah, but remember the, how the dynamics play. And, and this has been discussed on the professional level for quite a long. You know, they, they were trying to put term limits before you can break up with your couple. Yeah. You know, they were saying about three months, six months or so many tournaments. That will never happen. So now when one, one couple breaks up, another one needs to break up, break up for them to match it again. Right. So or see who's available, who's not. True. So if all the top players are playing with somebody else and you're happy with it, so what do you do if Teo and, and, so, and Paquito break up? So do you think Paquito and Teo have a plan B? Oh yeah, for sure. Or at least they're already making phone calls. Right, right, they're already, right, right. I guarantee you they're wow. already making phone calls to see who <laughs> oh, they can go with. Oh my away. gosh. Man, that's going to be a big scandal. <laughs> it's going to be very, very interesting because I mean, if you're getting results with your partner, why switch something that is working? Right. You know what I mean? And right. look, Garrido, Chingoto, I, I like how they play, man. I like how they play. Yeah, me too. I yeah. think they're great players. I think that it will work in just a little bit of time. That's yeah. all, you know? Yeah. Okay, so let's get to uh, Tapia Cuello and uh, Momo and Alex Ruiz. Yes. 6162. Yeah. Oh my God. Th th look, th that's another couple that I like. Momo and, and Ruiz. I do too. I really, really like him. I'm, and, and I think. Momo has raised his level playing next to Ruiz and they, they complement each other very well. But, they, you know, they're always, I feel like they're like, like the, in soccer, the Atletico Madrid. You know, you know what, they're always this close, but they can never win. I'm going to say something. They're always this close. I'm going to say something harsher and I might edit this out. But I look at kind of uh, Alex Ruiz like the Ronaldo in soccer, you know, yeah. very marketable. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Although Ronaldo wins because he had a you know great uh, club, yeah. you know, and they really supported him. Alex Ruiz, um, for all the marketing and all yeah. his, his his pictures out there, yeah, I'm not he, sure. He's, you he's, know, he's he's milking it. He's making some good, yeah, some I good mean, money. But I really like that couple. But they're always short. By yeah, mm, they always. always make it there, and they're always short. So do you think they're gonna try different? partners at the end of the nah, year or I don't know. I think I think they're doing well they're both from Malaga from the south they know each other for quite a, a few years I mean I like Momo I, I like yeah. you know um yeah. you know yeah, I mean I, th I think they're gonna <laughs> be do it but so I, th I think they're great but let's I mean look what I'm truly amazed is now the consistency and playability and how great they're playing uh, Tapia and Coelho. Oh, yeah. I mean, I thought it was just one one lucky tournament, but now they have under their belt two World Pile tournaments out of three or four that they play. Uh, one premier, what, semifinals, I think it was, or yep. quarterfinals. So these guys, now we're looking at the, the, well, the number ones. I mean, we don't have uh, LeBron and Galant playing because of Galant's injury. So No, no, they're playing in, they're playing in, well, in Chile. Now they are, but not this yeah. one. Yeah. So we have yeah. a, we have another, because we have them, we have uh, Dineno and, um, and um, Stupa, 
And then we have um, Cuello and, and, and Tapia, you know, yeah. and then, of course, LeBron and Colón. Yeah. So those are the powerhouses right there. You yeah. know, it's going to be great to watch, yeah. you know. OK, so let's move on to the semis. We have Lamparty and, um, uh, and Juan and versus Tino and um, Leo. Right. Yeah. So that was, uh, well, six, seven, three, six. Man. The tiebreak was unbelievable. It was the first set was so close, unbelievable points. I watched the whole thing. It was truly mesmerizing watch, watching these guys play. Uh, and 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 when it when it, that was that was so incredible about these two young kids, Liebach and Osberger, is that when it was crunch time during the the I mean, they were down five four, so he was uh, Belas, um, uh, Beluati and Lamperti. They were serving five four for the first set. And they broke, I thought it was, that was it. When they break him, I thought it was it. But they were able to came back, break back and go into the tie break. And during crunch time, these two keys, they pull it together, man. And they won that tie break. It's a youth, man. They have that energy. It is youth. They have that. Wow. It's just that. Yeah, but youth over experience, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take experience. But yeah, uh, yeah guys. but you know what? When you risk everything, sometimes you gain. Yeah. yeah. Not all the time. But sometimes you do. Yeah. And that's what happened there. Yeah. They risked it all and and, and they gained. Yeah. You know, it could have went the other way, of course, but not not in this situation. Um, great game. Um uh, I mean, let's talk about Lamparty, man. You know, Look, I, I, love I love him, love you know, I seen him. Uh, but you know, at what time is it time to retire? I hate to say this, but that last point I felt bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Buffon, yeah. Buffon at, at Juve, you know. Buffon, that was the name. At uh, 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 Juve, you know, it's like, oh, you don't want to see him like that. He was just such a great player. I mean, that was a slip on the last match point, but it was just, look, I mean, I think they're so happy. I went back to to see their scores before. Um, they ha they haven't made a semifinals, neither of them, Belotti the yeah. or, or, or Lamperti, for over three, four years. Yeah. So I think it's good for them. It's good for the ranking. And they're going to keep it up. I think if they did well in this tournament, they might do well in the other one, you know. So uh, the, the the other one that, that we know we got to think about it, it's what's going to happen. He keeps at it, but we know he's coming back to my He's coming to Miami, uh, Juan Martin Diaz and, and Silingo. You know, yeah. they've been playing together for quite a few yeah. tournaments. We know that Juan Martin Diaz, you know, former number one with, with Bella, 13 years in a row, number one, blah, 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 unbelievable record. But now he can't pass not even a second round yeah. or barely a first round. So we know that he's moving to Miami in the summertime. He's going to be living in, in Key Biscayne and, and working at the reserve as a, you know, face of the club wow. and, and nice. coaching and teaching and all that. So it's going to be great for Miami. But, yeah. you know, they, they, they just, uh, I, it's a lovable guy, incredible, super welcoming but now, come on, guys, you know, throw, throw, throw the gloves and move on. <laughs> At a certain life, point, you know? right? At, At a certain, certain point. point. Yeah, yeah. I it, think it, that, 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 that is sadder than Lamperti. Lamperti at least gets some result. Right, but right, right. Juan Martin Diaz, they cannot even make it to the second round. It's a tough thing, man. If that's your life and whatever you do is your life, yeah. especially in something physical like that, yeah. any type of sport, it's it's hard to call quits, man. It is, especially when you were at, at such a high level. Right. It's, you know, when the Mike, you were the Michael Jordans yeah. or, or the, you know, Tom yep. Brady's or, you know, it's hard to call it quits. Right. I hear you. you know. OK, so let's talk about the revenge here. Now, the real revenge, you know, from, yeah. uh, from the last uh, tournament, you know, we have uh, Stupa and Dineno versus uh, Cuello and Tapia. Uh, great game, you know, but, you know, you, you see, uh, you know, uh, uh, Cuello and Tapia, they played amazing, yes. amazing. I was like, they're on point, yeah. on point. And, and look, it, it's that was a typical point uh, game where when you have two guys, they hit bombs from the air. Yeah. You're so conditioned to hit that perfect love every single time that if you hit a short love or a short a love that it go that's, that's it, it you're done that's right because, because the it, two of them you know when when you play with Bella you know he can really put it away when he's running back and he needs to hit a bandeja but these two I mean they hit him they're hitting by three from behind the baseline like it's so easy to do so when you're conditioned like that it's such a complex game that you need to play you know Arturo is so athletic it's oh, incredible yeah. and Tapia too yeah and how 
how they can jump so high to hit yes. that smash. It's unbelievable, it's man. Unbelievable. Really. And you're right. You're off a little bit on your glove on, on your lap. That's it. You're, you're done. done. That's it. You and, better you better run to that and hope they don't you know, and, hit up. And and that's what happens. I mean, they, you, they were they were trying to hit those lobes to perfection, but they were like off by a few inches, and that ball was just going boom out of the court, out of the court, out of the court. You, you, it's it's impossible. It's very difficult, and they play the perfect game, you know. Right, right, right. So, okay, so now to the finals. The well, final, like, like I said, said they won. <sighs> the these, the funny part is these two kids. They trained the whole se season. They were training with Coelho and Tapia, so you know after the the semifinals. Uh, they knew who they were playing, right? And for for Ausberger and and Liebach, their idol is Tapia. All right. So now you're playing with your idol. You know what I yeah. mean? And with Coelho. So I think that has so much weight on it. And they were so nervous. They were actually shitting their pants. You know when they when they walk into the finals, that. It's, it was a bluff. I mean, I think it was the shorter set in the history of World Poly Tour. I, I think you know. I think um, they could be. I mean, I think that they were. I think they were excited. I mean, it unbel to be able to play against your, you know, your idols. I mean, that's kind of like, that's incredible. Yes. I mean, and uh, and going in there, and I think they risk a little too much. They made a, they made they made their mistakes. They made a lot of mistakes, you know. And that's where the kind of experience, uh, although. You know, Tapia and, and Cuellar are just young as well, but they have a little more experience, you know, and that's where we kind of saw it, where uh, I think Leon and, and Tino kind of, you know, risked a little too much, made made errors, right? Yes. And, uh, and you know, and, and, and they paid for it, you know? Look, um, if you look at their professional history, Coel and Tapia, even though they're young, they had one of the best coaches, players, and strategies of the game, who's Bella. They were both partners with Bella. When you have Bella next to you playing for a whole season, you learn so much from him from the strategic point of view, how to hit, what ball to hit, when to push, when to you know retreat, when to go offense, when to go defense. When you have that coaching next to you for 10, 20, 30 matches, and these two young kids, they just play with each other and no, nothing else, uh, that makes a difference too. Priceless. It's priceless. The value there. Yes. It's unvaluable. It's, it's, it's just, yeah, 100%. Yeah. And, that's, and, and that's where they get the experience in that, that small time frame. Yeah. Enough where, like, they, they would beat them by that much. I think it was a 6160 or something. Yeah, like that. it was just a blow. Off. Wow. 6160. Uh, I, I, I kind of hated to see that, you know, because that's a you know, big margin there. I'd like to be a little bit closer, but, yeah. you know, it's just they're, they're playing so well this, this tournament, you know, just yeah. so well. So this is the World Paddle Tour of Chile, right? Yeah. Starting right. today. Great, great. So what, yes. what what are the draws? The draws. So we got Alejandro Galan versus Rafael Mendes and 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 Javier Marquez. You know, I can go through the thing, but the the the, the first round matches that there's some very interesting and the ones that I want to see. Uh we have we have Nieto and, and Lima. I think they need to win either if not, they're gonna break up. Yeah, you, you know, know what? You're right. Um, yeah, they haven't, they haven't. That's that's another one where like, yes, I don't know what's going and, on. And there. Lima, former number one, he this his standards are so high that, and he's getting old too. Yeah, and if he's not start getting his results. Either he might call it quits or he might um, change partners. Chingoto and and Garrido, they have an easy first round with you know two qualifying. So There's no no big deal. This one is going to be very interesting. Cilingo, Juan Martin Diaz versus Maxi Sanchez and Campagnolo. Yeah. Now that's going to be interesting. For me, I mean, my money's on Mito. Sanchez and yeah, Campagnolo yeah, for Mito. sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This one is going to be the killer right here. Capra, Lucho Capra versus Agustin uh, Gutierrez, which, which you, you know that he's the cousin uh, of Sanjo. Yeah, yeah, Sanjo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And then he's playing Paquito and Teo. Yeah. If they don't win this match, Paquito and Teo, they oh, call it quits. I think so. That you would know, be and, so and bad. That would be so, no. That's a tough <laughs> one. And that would be so bad if they. And you know what? I yes. don't know. I mean, uh, if I had to uh, put my money somewhere, it would probably be with Capra and Gutierrez. Just yes. the way that they're playing uh, right now, Teo and Paquito. So now 
Jan Woods versus Osberger. First round, they should win easily. They have two qualifying gu uh, guys. I'm dying to see them play. Yeah. That's going to be both of them. They kick the ball out of the I like Youngest. I love Youngest, you know? <laughs> and his Vibora is brutal, man. He hits that Vibora with yeah. so much venom. It's ridiculous. Uh, this is another couple that I like, Mojano and, and Francisco Hill. Uh, I like them. They, 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 they're a good match. They're like sort of like the second tier. But if you're not on, on your A game, they can cause some damage, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one is going to be the match of the first round. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's going to be tough for Lampard. <laughs> so, Beluati Lamperti versus uh, Stupa and Dineno. You know, you know that you know what's gonna happen there, man. I mean, I, I oh, yeah. man, I feel bad for Lampard when he saw that choice. Like, no, no, <laughs> he's screaming, man. Uh, uh, they're playing the number one, you know, seated players so or the number two. So this is uh, this is gonna be uh, a pretty good too. So Jeronimo Momo Momo versus uh, Alex Ruiz versus. Uh, Antonio Antonio Fernandez and uh, Jose Antonio Garcina Diestro. Those are pretty good couples. Uh, the other one that was interesting was no, this is going to be easy. So that's pretty much what it is. I mean, the other ones should have a walk on the so park. So there could be the upsets. That's that's what we're yes. looking at, kind of the upsets, right? Yeah. You know, um, I don't think Lampardi is going to beat uh, uh, Stupa and Dineno. Thanks for tuning in to Paddle Smash Academy. We hope you find our videos informative and helpful in improving your game and learning all things paddle. And if you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you never miss a video from us. So until next time, keep practicing, keep improving, and keep on smashing that paddle. See you in the court.